A 10 kilogram tortoise sits on a seesaw one meter from the fulcrum. Where must a two kilogram hare sit in order to maintain static equilibrium? And what is the force on the fulcrum? Well, first off, we're going to assume it's a massless seesaw. It doesn't tell us anything about the mass, so let's just assume the mass of the seesaw doesn't come into play. Let's draw what we have here. We've got a seesaw. We've got a fulcrum. Over here on one side, we've got a 10 kilogram tortoise. So its weight, the force on it, is 10 g. And that's one meter from the fulcrum. One meter. On the other side, we have our hair. Two kilograms, so its force is 2 g. And it's some unknown distance from our fulcrum. If it's in static equilibrium, though, we know that the net torque must equal zero. So looking at our torques, the 10 g over here, that force times the distance one meter, 10 g times one. Now the negative direction minus 2 g times whatever that distance happens to be from the fulcrum x must equal zero. So 10 g minus 2 g x equals zero. 10 g equals 2 g x, or x equals 10 g over 2 g, which must be five meters. The hair must sit five meters from the fulcrum. What is the force on the fulcrum? Well, to find the force on the fulcrum, all we have to do now is look at all of the different forces that we have here. Newton's second law says that we must have some force from the fulcrum pointing back up. So if we write Newton's second law for that object, F net in the y direction, we have Fp minus 10g minus 2g equals zero. Therefore, the force of that pivot point, the fulcrum, must be 12g or 120 newtons. Hopefully that gets you a good start on torque. Thanks for watching educator.com. Looking forward to seeing you next time. Make it a great day.